Hi everyone, I'm Jamila and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I have a quick vegan mayonnaise uh, recipe for you. Uh, this is the recipe that I normally use. It's very simple, so easy to do. And this is without oil. If you do choose to use oil, you can use uh, whatever oil you want, olive oil, avocado oil, but this recipe is without oil. So let's go ahead and get started with the ingredients. I have one and a half cups of cashews that have been soaked. This right here is um, a teaspoon of ground mustard powder. This was all that I had left. I didn't realize I didn't have that much left. So, um, but in case it's not enough, I do have some Dijon mustard that I can use for that flavor. And so if you don't have ground mustard seed to use, you can always use the Dijon mustard in, in its place. Right here I have a small slice of onion and one date for sweetness. And the last ingredient here. Now this in this container is one tablespoon of raw apple cider vinegar and I also have the juice of half a lemon. I just, because they were small amounts, I just put them both in the same container here. And I did forget to pit my date, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So now all we need to do is to put all of the ingredients in the blender and blend it to smooth. Oh, and I did forget to mention, I do have some Himalayan sea salt as well. So I'm, first I'm going to go ahead and put in the liquid, the lemon juice and the apple cider vinegar. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in the cashews. Mustard seed powder, the date, the onion, and a little bit of the sea salt. Now just going to go ahead and blend this all together until smooth. Okay, let's go ahead and check the progress of our mayonnaise. All right, and this is the creaminess that we're looking for. I have to mention that depending on how long you soak your cashews, uh, you may need to add a little bit of water to get the, um, the blender to turn properly to get the creaminess that you're looking for. So um, the longer you soak your nuts, the less water you're going to need to add. So um, I would suggest that you soak your cashews for at least eight hours. Let me go ahead and give this a little taste here. This is good. It's good just as is. I don't need to add a thing. How about that? Okay, I went ahead and put my mayonnaise into a container to store in the refrigerator. Now you can keep this mayonnaise in the refrigerator for about two weeks. I would not keep it any longer than that. Also, let me just say that if you want to make a spicy mayo, say like for sushi or something of that nature, or you just want to kick it up a little bit or, you know, spice it up a little bit, you can add sriracha or chipotle powder or um, Chinese chili garlic sauce. 
you know, it's it's very versatile. But this is the base recipe for uh, mayonnaise that I particularly use all the time um, when I'm when I need mayonnaise or you know a spread for sandwiches. So here you have it, my cashew mayonnaise. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share it with your family and friends. And please subscribe to my channel to get more great vegan recipes. Until next time, bye.